Our next product is this um, STP oil treatment. It says it contains zinc, an anti-wear agent, ZDDP, uh, reduces oil burning, lubricates moving parts, and it says add one bottle to four to five quarts of oil at or between oil changes, and it's a 15 ounce bottle, so I'm going to treat this the same way as I treated like uh, the tough oil which is also what is this two ounces per every quart now which there was another one hey one bottle of oil treatment per every four to five quarts i'm going to treat it the same way as i mix that so let's get this opened up some of this stuff is like honey when you dump it out i'm gonna pour it in here well, let's go like this. something like that and then let's get our safer supreme let's mix it up real quick and I'll be right back So we got a pretty good consistency going. Once you start mixing it up, um, you uh, it'll blend right in. You would think that it would be kind of like really, really hard, but it's not. To oh, why did I do that? Swap the camera. It goes here. This goes here. Let's try this out. Let's see what we got going on here with the STP uh, oil treatment. Kind of excited for this one, to be honest with you. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Got a much more thick consistency coming off the bearing right there. There we go. Oh, wow, that's a lot of noise. And we got four weights and it failed. It failed with four weights, so I would say this oil treatment did not help it become more... You can see it's still draining off of there. Still. It's a non-chlorinated product. It seems that the only real bearing coating that really matters is chlorinated products. So regular STP oil treatment, is it really going to cause the bearings to slip and or the, is it really going to cause it to go in there and do all this extra protecting and stuff like that probably not it might be great for leaving like a film behind to make something quiet that's barely making contact or make some timing chain timing components move a little freer but thinking that it offers all this superior protection no it doesn't seem to and uh maybe boost oil pressure or something like that in an engine that's starting to wear a little bit.
but for your general application if you're changing the oil by every three to five thousand miles it's probably not necessary i could tell that was going to flop like that right off the bat because i didn't even get the first weight completely on it before i let my fingers go and it was already making a ton of noise and you can see the amp meter starting to drop up jump up on the machine it was a clear indication something was not going to be good